What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp tutorial for you. So this week uh, we're going to use geometry to create an icosahedron. Um, an icosahedron is basically a shape that's made up of a whole bunch of um, equally shaped or equally sized triangles. So, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, some golden ratio uh, rectangles in order to do that. So, I don't know if you've ever been in SketchUp and you've been kind of drawing a rectangle and uh, you get this little, uh, you get this little diagonal line that pops up and it says golden section. It's basically a rectangle with a ratio that's said to be the most pleasing to the eye. I mean, it has something to do with the way the, uh, the sides, the long sides and the short sides have kind of a ratio together. And uh, it's, it's really more heavier duty geometry that I want to get into. But what I do want to do is show you how to use that in order to uh, come in here and create this uh, dome shape. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and draw our uh, icosahedron shape using the uh, golden section rectangles. So um, again, just use the rectangle tool, move your mouse out here until it says golden section, and then just hold that shift key to lock to the golden section rectangle. And um, I don't remember if the older versions of SketchUp locked to the golden section or not when you held the shift key. So um, you may want to go ahead and update to uh, SketchUp 2017 because I know they improve the inferencing and stuff like that. But anyway, what you're going to go ahead and do is now you're going to come in here and you're going to create a couple copies of this shape. So you can do that using the rotate tool and remember that uh, you just uh, activate that tool, select the object and then tap that control key. And what you're going to do is you're going to use inferencing to center this on this shape. So just use midpoint so that this is centered just like this. And then what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to come in here and you're going to rotate this so that it's standing up. And you're probably going to have to use inferencing again in order to do that. Um, and remember that you can lock your rotate tool to an axis by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So go ahead and stand your shape up so that it looks like this. So you'll have one rectangle running this way, one rectangle running this way. And then you'll come in here and you're going to create one more copy and stand it up just like this. And then do the same thing where you center the middle of your shape on the middle of this whole uh, this whole thing right here. So just uh, again kind of you can use inferencing, so center your shape, and then you're going to rotate it one more time. Uh, you can tap that up key on your keyboard to lock this to the axis. But go ahead and rotate this to 90 degrees so that you've got three rectangles all kind of centered on themselves just like this. And uh, then once you do that, um, and remember, just make sure these are all centered or else this isn't going to work. But then all you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to start drawing triangles between these three shapes. And as you can see, what that does is it creates this triangle that all have the same length on all the different sides. It's just uh, repeating the same shape over and over again. And all you're going to do is you're just going to come in here and you're going to keep drawing these triangles until you um, have a complete shape around this circle. So just come in here and just keep drawing these. And as you can see, it's also creating this pentagon shape right here. So uh, that's the cool thing about doing stuff like this with geometry is it's always shapes upon shapes upon shapes. And if you look for them, um, there's a lot of shapes kind of hidden in here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. So um, go ahead and just really simply just keep coming in here and filling in these triangles until you have the whole thing kind of filled in and you have your shape so and there may be an easier way to do this with the rotate tool I didn't really try to find it this is pretty easy it's just a little bit time-consuming but it's not a big deal so um, just keep drawing these points just like this and eventually what's gonna happen is you'll have this complete shape full of repeating triangles. Um, all the sides are, uh, they, they all have equal lengths. So you've got the same size triangle just repeating over and over and over again, creating this shape. So that's how you create an icosahedron. Just kind of a cool little Easter egg on this um, is if you come in here and once you've done this, if you come in here and you hide these faces just like this, you've got a star shape right here. 
that's uh, made by all your different points that are running um, along this pentagon that was created. So like I was talking about earlier, it's just shapes upon shapes upon shapes where um, just because of the way that the lines go together on all of this, it creates some other shapes as well. So anyway, that's how you create an icosahedron on here. I may build on this a little bit later because it seems like uh, this gets used a lot for like geodesic domes and spheres and stuff like that, or at least principles like this. In any case, uh, let me know if you like this video, uh, if you like kind of the geometry push on this, or if you prefer more, uh, more uh, everyday type modeling stuff. Um, if, if nothing else, this is really a cool way to... Uh, to uh, get you thinking about the way that shapes work together in SketchUp. So uh, if you wouldn't mind taking a minute and uh, clicking that like button down below, I'd really appreciate it. That would really help me out. In addition, uh, make sure you click that subscribe button if you're new around here. I'm coming out with new SketchUp tutorials every week and I'd love to have you along for the ride. And uh, like I said before, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear uh, what you think about this kind of uh, instruction. I may get more in-depth of geometric shapes uh, depending on what you guys are interested in. In any case, thank you very much for watching this video. As always, I really appreciate it and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys.